Embryology is the study of how organisms develop from fertilization to full formation. We will explore the intricate journey of thymus development, from its origin in the third pharyngeal pouch to its role in immune function. Let's embark on this fascinating exploration together. During early embryonic development, the third pharyngeal pouch is responsible for thymus formation. This involves the outpocketing of endodermal epithelium, which creates the pouch. Sequential steps such as cell proliferation, migration, and recruitment of neural crest cells, regulated by signals like FGFs and SH, contribute to thymus development. These processes are vital in understanding thymus development. Neural crest cells are important for thymus development. They contribute to the formation of thymic mesenchyme and interact with other cells, influencing their differentiation and migration. This understanding is crucial for studying thymus development. The thymus develops from the third pharyngeal pouch through a network of signaling pathways. Fibroblast growth factors, FGFs, and sonic hedgehog sh, play important roles in initiating and regulating thymus development. Understanding these signals is crucial for understanding thymus morphogenesis. The video discusses the development of thymus and the formation of thymic epithelial cells, TEX, which create a specialized microenvironment for T-cell maturation. TEX differentiate from the endodermal epithelium of the third pharyngeal pouch, involving specific transcription factors and cell-to-cell -cell interactions. TEX facilitate self-antigen presentation, contributing to T-cell repertoire formation. Understanding tech differentiation helps advance our understanding of immune development and function. In this section, we will discuss the movement and establishment of hematopoietic stem cells, HSCs, in the developing thymus. HSCs, which develop into different blood cells, including T-cells, originate in the fetal liver and then migrate to the thymus. This migration is directed by specific signals. Once in the thymus, HSCs interact with thymic stromal cells, which support the thymus. This interaction allows HSCs to settle and become part of the thymus tissue. Within the thymus, HSCs further mature and differentiate into T-cells. This complex process involves communication between HSCs, thymic stromal cells, and other cell populations in the thymus environment. Understanding the precise mechanisms of HSC migration and colonization helps us comprehend T-cell development and the establishment of a functional immune system. The thymus microenvironment is made up of different cell types, including thymic epithelial cells, lymphoid progenitors, and stromal cells, which work together to support T-cell development. These cells interact through various signaling molecules, adhesion molecules, and cytokines. T-cell development involves a series of differentiation steps for lymphoid progenitors, under the influence of thymic epithelial cells and stromal cells. In summary, exploring the thymus microenvironment and cell interactions helps us understand the complex processes behind T-cell development. Notch signaling is crucial for the development of thymocytes in the thymus. It controls cell fate, lineage commitment, proliferation, and selection, leading to the formation of a diverse and functional T-cell repertoire. Understanding this process is important for studying T-cell differentiation. In the thymus, T-cell repertoire is formed through positive and negative selection. Positive selection supports T-cells that recognize self-MHC molecules, while negative selection eliminates those that fail to interact with self-MHC. This balance ensures self-tolerance and effective immune responses. Detailed understanding of these processes aids in immune system development. In adolescence, the thymus shrinks and its function decreases due to hormonal changes, immune system development, and changes in the thymic microenvironment. The precise mechanisms are unclear, but they involve reduced cell division and hormone production. Thymus regression and involution affect T-cell production and maturation, which can affect overall immune function. Understanding these mechanisms is important for understanding age-related changes in immunity. The thymus plays a vital role in the immune system, but it declines with age. Various approaches to rejuvenate the thymus are being explored, such as hormonal interventions, stem cell therapies, and tissue engineering techniques. These strategies aim to restore thymus function and improve immune health in aging populations. Thymoma is the most common tumor of the anterior mediastinum and arises from the thymus. These tumors are classified based on their microscopic appearance and cellular characteristics and range from benign to malignant. Thymomas can affect thymus function by disrupting the normal architecture and cellular composition of the thymus. The pathogenesis of thymomas is not fully understood but is thought to involve genetic alterations and dysregulated cell proliferation. A detailed understanding of thymoma classification and pathogenesis provides crucial insights into the diagnosis, management, and potential targeted therapies for these tumors, thereby preserving thymus function and overall immune health. Thymus embryogenesis plays a critical role in establishing immune competence and is associated with various clinical conditions when disrupted. 
DeGeorge syndrome is one such condition characterized by abnormalities in thymus development, resulting in a partial or complete absence of thymus tissue. Individuals with DeGeorge syndrome typically exhibit immune deficiencies, highlighting the crucial role of thymus embryogenesis in immune function. An examination of clinical conditions associated with thymus embryogenesis sheds light on the clinical manifestations, diagnosis, and management of these conditions, ultimately improving patient care and outcomes. In conclusion, the intricate process of thymus development holds significant implications for immune function and medical advancements. Comprehending this complexity will greatly impact your future contributions to medicine as aspiring physicians.